The recent arrest of a local man for selling heroin has one group speaking out about the ongoing drug problem plaguing the area. And CTV 17's Kevin Maycheck reports. 21-year-old Peter Rundo is being held at Will County Jail for selling heroin to several undercover narcotics officers. It's really a shame. It, it, you, first he was just struggling with addiction and then to find out that he was also dealing and this was a friend growing up so it's just like it hits me it's another friend it's just like I really want to help this kid. Humphreys has been trying to help others struggling with addiction as a founder of Open Hearts Open Eyes, a forum on Facebook of which Rundo was reported to also be a founder. But Caroline Casina, whose own son died of an overdose last year, says that's not the case. Peter was a very good friend, a very close friend of my son John's, um, but he was not a founding member, but he did participate in our group. It is an open forum and there are active addicts that are on that page. They come onto the page looking for support and for information and to find resources. The DuPage County Coroner's Office is reporting a record number of heroin overdoses for the year with 38 cases so far. That's equal to all of last year. It is user friendly, it is cheap, it is easy to get and I believe it is being marketed not as heroin. Marissa Bott, also of the Open Hearts Open Eyes group, says drug addicts often go unnoticed and don't fit a particular stereotype. They look like me, they look like you, they look like normal people. Addiction is not something that people are proud of and so people don't, you know, they hide it. You're not going to see someone and be like, oh, they're definitely addicted. Members hope the Facebook support group continues to open people's eyes to the reality that heroin is here. Before that, nobody even wanted to admit that heroin was in our community, but now at least we have shows like this. We have information out there. Um, that's really good for families who are still struggling with this. Caroline's also licensed to legally distribute and train others on how to administer the overdose reversal drug, naloxone, a lifesaver she says should be in every addict's home. I'm Kevin Maycheck for Naperville News 17. Naloxone has no apparent adverse effects and DuPage County police officers are expected to soon carry the drug in their squad cars.